Hi fellow anglers. I've just recently purchased this reel. It's a Daiwa Tournament 7HT mag. And as soon as I got it, I started looking around for um, possible problems, things that could be fixed now that um, may prevent maintenance in the future or a failure in the future. As you can see in the background here, I have this chrome rocket and um, the 7000, both Abu Garcia reels, that I've done just that to any problems that I've seen or that, that, that could have become a problem, I went ahead and fixed that ahead of time. So those reels are highly modified and have a lot more than they came with inside. This one here, I started looking around. Uh, I heard it, it was a really good reel. I got a heck of a bargain on it. It's mostly available in the UK. The European market seems to have most of these reels. It's, uh, it has magnets on board. And Daewoo really went above and beyond the Call of Duty when they designed this reel. But um, during my investigation into possible problems with the reel, I found that a lot of people were putting in something called a pinion support. And you'll see, I've disassembled it partially here so that you can see inside the so-called pinion right here, um, you have a spindle that protrudes slightly that holds this um, where did it go? C clip and a washer right here. That's all it does. There's a little ring right here that holds that C clip and it holds all of this down to the base inside. I'm going to show you inside here. Okay, there's that spindle that we see coming up through the pinion, as everyone calls it. And you can see down at the base here, it has a shoulder on it, and then it gets a lot larger. And that's where, and then up here is that little divot that I was telling you about. Focus. Okay, here's the pinion and gears. You can see this is the anti-reverse bearing. Which goes inside. I mean, actually, that's the collar. This is the bearing right inside here. All of this, the pinion is supported by the anti-reverse bearing itself. This, right here, the spindle on the brake plate, coming out of the brake plate, means nothing zero all it does is retains the clip that pushes this down to the base to the brake plate it just holds it down to the brake plate you could cut that spindle off the brake plate at the top of those shoulders and this reel would still function and the gears would still remain in perfect alignment because of the anti-reverse bearing filling that void with a bushing, a brass bushing, is going to do nothing but cause friction. It would be very similar to driving your car around and slightly holding the brakes down. When they would design this reel, they designed it perfectly. The gears will remain in perfect alignment whether the bushing is in there or not. So if you have it in there, if you put the bushing in there, I would say take it out, throw it in the trash, it's useless. Not going to do nothing but add friction to your reel and do nothing for it. So, that's it folks, yeah. It wobbles right there, means nothing. Put the side plate on, wobble gone. So, I hope this helps some people and saves you some money on a useless product. I'm going to have some more about this reel coming up in another video. 
So please check it out. It's going to be about the stainless steel pinion gear and the support that it gets. Um, some people question that because the Abu Garcia's, the, the spindle and the spool, completely penetrates the uh, pinion gear. Keeps it in perfect alignment with the main gear on the Abu Garcia. This one does not. And I'll tell you why later. Thanks for watching, folks. If you have any questions or would like to dispute what I've just said, please leave it in the comments. Hope I can help you.